morning, guys. I have washed my hair this morning. I have got myself ready. I'm having what I'd say is quite a good hair day today, if I'm allowed to say that myself without sounding big-headed. But my hair was doing as it was told. It's, um, it's on good form today. I'm really happy with it. But today I am about to head to the train station. I'm heading down to London because I've been invited to a lovely little brunch with the Katie Loxton team. So you guys will know I've worked with Katie Loxton now for, gosh, it's got to be getting on for nearly two years, maybe 18 months, two years. The last time I saw them was when we went on the British Pullman train. That was just the most amazing day. Um, I also did a photo shoot with them last year, just before Christmas for their kind of like Christmas holiday campaign. Um, I love the girls at Katie Loxton. They're all honestly the loveliest team. Oh, the sun just went in then. Oh, it's back. They're the loveliest team. So I am so happy that they have invited me um, to go for lunch. Um, I think it's like, there's gonna be a few of us there. It's at, it's in Belgravia. It's at Wild by Tart. I know the food is really nice there. So I'm really excited to go there and eat there again. And then the plan is after that, I think, I'm going to have a little mooch around, maybe have a look at Zara, Mango. It depends on time. I do want to take the opportunity while I'm down there to have a little look, have a little browse. Um, and yeah, maybe I'll film a separate video for that. Who knows? It depends how much time I've got, but outfit wise, I'm sorry I can't show you in the mirror, um, but I'm wearing this linen um, vest top. Vest top, not vest top. Uh, waistcoat it was part it's from mango it was part of a co-ord i do have the matching trousers i actually wore it in my i think it was my birthday when we went to andy's parents i was wearing the outfit then i've decided to not wear it with the matching trousers and i've actually wore it oh the sun is blaring on them right now but my cream trousers from zara because i'm wearing a cream crossbody bag from katie loxton obviously let me go and grab that now actually before i forget it where is it? Oh, it's already in the car because I am Mrs. Prepared. But yeah, I've got a cream crossbody bag from Katie Loxton. So I thought the cream trousers would just tie it all in together. And then shoes wise, I would love to wear some sandals. But walking around London all day, probably not the most practical. So I am just throwing on my Adidas Samba trainers for pure comfort and practicality reasons. The weather is stunning. It's going to be, I think, about 25, 26 degrees down in London. So I would have liked to maybe have had my legs out. But again, practicality. I need to be on the move, get stuff done. So it's going to be a waistcoat and trouser day today. But anyway, I'm going to go and grab my stuff, get in the car, because I've also had some amazing news this morning, which I'm going to tell you about in the car, but I have just not stopped smiling this morning. So... Let me get in the car and I'll tell you about it then. I apologise for the light. As you can see, the sun is blaring in. I tried to move the, um, what is this called? I tried to move the visor, <laughs> but uh, not done a good job. It's kind of just hang, oh, that's a little bit better. That's okay. Um, on my way to the train station, I thought I'd quickly show you. This is the Katie Loxton bag that I was telling you about. Little cream crossbody, such a handy bag especially spring summer i feel like it goes with so much um so yeah that's why i ended up wearing the cream trousers to go with the cream bag because you know the sandwich rule if you don't know the sandwich rule you want to match two items of your clothing in the same similar color on the top and on the bottom so that could be your shoes and your bag your trousers um and your jacket you just want a filler color in between so this is the filling God wasn't very generous with his filling when he made me there, but there we go. So that is a sandwich roll. So that's outfit. I've got all my little bits and bobs in here. I've got makeup, my sunglasses, purse. I can't believe how hot it's gonna be down in London. It's been a long time since I've been in London and the weather's been really nice. So I'm really happy about that. Right, I have arrived. I've got about 12 minutes before my train. So I am early. So yeah, it's an um, unfamiliar feeling for me. But, um, oh, one thing, I did mention earlier that I received some good news this morning, which I'm absolutely buzzing about, but I got the official official email, official, confirma official confirmation 
um, that me and Flickr have qualified from our last uh, one day event uh, for the regional championships. So I am over the moon with that. Our first season eventing and we are going to be in the championship. So I am just absolutely buzzing with that. I'm so happy. So I got it all entered this morning. We're entered. It's official. We're going. I've got about three weeks to prepare. So it's going to be a busy three weeks. Busy three weeks of training for both of us schooling lessons and yeah it's going to be full on so i'm really sorry for those of you guys that aren't interested i know you don't watch me for that but i have to update you it's my life and unfortunately the next three weeks it's definitely going to be taking up a big old chunk of it so i feel like i have to let you guys just know what the deal is so yeah absolutely over the moon buzzing really happy and now i'm going down to london for a lovely brunch so what a great day As you can see behind me, I've got some of the lovely goodies. I'm going to go around now. Um, I need to go and say hello to a few people, and um, and then yeah, show you a few of the new goodies that they've got in here. The table looks stunning, so I'm going to show you that now. ever seen in my life look at this this is one of my favorite Katie Loxton bags that they do this is their weekender perfect for overnight stays or as the name suggests weekends I love this brown color I've got this in the color mink but this brown with the shoulder bag for awesome winter beautiful So I think this one is definitely my favourite, their new shoulder bag. I just picked it up in black to try on. How lovely is that going to be in the winter? Such a good size as well. I feel like I can get loads in there. Really good size, really beautiful. This one, I love this one. I love this I feel like this is going to be the popular bag from this collection. It's the one, isn't it? Every, everyone has gravitated towards this bag, especially in this colour. 
Is that what her name is? Serena. It's her name's Serena, I've just been told. <laughs> yeah, everyone has gravitated over to this bag. It's a really lovely shape. Lovely. Yeah, it is, honestly. This is the mink colour. They do it in, I think they do it in black and like a cream colour, like this cream. But this is just, this is lovely. I love that you could hold this like a clutch bag and have it as more of an evening wear and then just as easily and then just as easily pop it on the shoulder like this and it just looks just looks lovely really lovely up at the Katie Loxton brunch oh let me take my sunglasses off or else the camera's going to um, be upset with me just finished off at the Katie Loxton brunch it was so lovely to catch up with them see the girls and yeah really really lovely start to the day but I'm just about to head over now to Zara in Sloan Square my favorite Zara it's always just so clean and tidy and nice so I'm gonna head over to there now and have a little browse and then, yeah, just see see where we end up. ever get bored of having having a background now when I come and sit in this room I just love having bits and pieces here I really want a nice frame for that little picture of Flickr there if anyone's got any good recommendations I really want like like the gold that is like the handles there you know like, like that brushed kind of worn vintagey looking gold I don't want the modern chrome gold I want like that beaten up kind of gold really nice photo frames if anyone has any recommendations maybe there's like a small Etsy store or something like that let me know um, because I want to get a couple so I can put some more pictures up on there but I, I want it all to you know tie together but I'm back home now guys I actually did have a little look around um, Zara but oh, it's, it's too early for me I was in there and they had, it, it was that weird mismatch still of summer, early autumn. There was a couple of things I liked, but nothing that made me go, wow, I need to try that on. Get me in the changing rooms now. I just, it wasn't doing it for me, guys. It, Zara's not, not doing it for me right now. I feel like I need another couple of weeks, then maybe. And then I did have a little look. I didn't film in there though. Sometimes they can be a bit funny about you filming in Harrods. But I did pop to Harrods because it was um, close to that Zara, um, that Zara store. And I've not been to Harrods in so long. I like having a little, a little window shop. Because one thing that is on my hit list for autumn, I always say when it comes to a capsule wardrobe, I always say when it comes to buying anything on the more pricey side, anything more luxury or designer, to first look at your capsule wardrobe, look at the pieces you wear religiously, year on year, month after month, so that you know when you look down the designer route, you're going to get wear out of them. And I like to think that's how I have managed my purchases when it comes to anything designer. Now, hands up, I don't own an array of designer items, not like a lot of the influencers you might watch, 
Um, I, I just don't. But, um, but when I have bought something, it's been very, very considered. So for example, I bought my Burberry trench coat. Um, it was actually discounted because I got it from Vista Village, but I felt better about splurging on that coat because I know that's a type of coat I'm going to get wear out of. I, I suppose the next splurgy item on my hit list, that sounds really strange, um, something that I have been wanting for a while now are a really lovely pair of flat black knee-high boots. Uh, almost kind of like the ridings, uh, like a like a riding boot kind of vibe. Obviously not to be used for actual horse riding, but that kind of vibe. Definitely probably my most reached for type of shoe in autumn, winter. So yeah, and I always get sucked into looking at like the designer ones. I've seen some from Dior. I've seen some from Anina Bing that look really nice. So yeah, that's next on my list for like a nice treat but um but yeah unfortunately in Harrods they didn't have any of those that kind of stock in so I think it's going to have to be an online purchase but yeah that's that's what I'm thinking about at the minute that's my next big ish purchase I just feel like I will get so much wear out of them and yeah I think I think wise wise purchase decision but anyway that's what I went in having a look for they didn't have any but it was nice to have a little bit of a window shop anyway I am what time is it seven o'clock I have got a little bit of editing left to do I want oh, I need to go and take my makeup off oh I need to take my makeup off I need to do that I want to shower does anyone else feel like when you've been into London or just been on trains just traveling about all day you just you just need a shower you need to wash it all off um, I did come home with a lovely little goodie bag from Katie Loxton. You probably saw the bits that were there in like the pick and mix place, but I also got this lovely little clutch bag with my initials on. I think I'll use it. This is a really good like travel, makeup, toiletries kind of bag. I think that's what I'll use that for. And it actually matches my weekender bag that I've got from them. I've got the big like travel bag from them in this colour. So happy i'll be all matchy matchy but yeah they had this really cool like pick and mix stand there where you could just obviously pick <laughs> pick and mix and put it in your bag so i got a few lovely goodies i got some l'oreal and um, spf 50 brilliant i also got a morphe is it a lip balm a lip gloss in like this nude color in the color naked dip so I got one of those. I got another little lip balm. I got some hairspray. And I also got a Katie Loxton hand cream. Oh, something else I did get as well is a little Katie Loxton black like card holder wallet thing. So lovely. Oh, something else from the Pick and Mix. My fave, the Cordially Beauty Elixir. Love this stuff. Oh, I'm actually going to um, spritz. Is there any point in spritzing my face now? I'm Gonna go and tap my, my makeup off. We'll still spritz. Oh, the smell. So nice. Now, time to remove this makeup and get ready for bed. Just another manic filming day, puppy dogs. Oh, Bolly, that was such a well timed sigh. Darlings, have you had enough? <laughs> oh, honestly, my best little cheerleaders keeping me going. Are you coming? Come on then. Let's go. I'm having a quick little lunch break with a salad I made earlier. How very Blue Peter of me. Everyone in the UK who remembers Blue Peter. I always wanted a Blue Peter badge. Oh my God, if anyone from back in the day, back in the 90s. How long was Blue Peter going? It was going for years. Anyone watching my vlogs, if you've ever, ever had or won a Blue Peter badge, let me know. How random. Anyway, <laughs> let's pop you down here. Apologies, I'm just using ooh, a candle as my tripod. But So this morning I was very productive before I started work and 
I threw together a little salad um, to have a bit of a Caesar salad. Here. So in here I have literally just got some lettuce, baby tomatoes, cucumber, some um, bacon and croutons and obviously some Caesar dressing. This looks delicious. You know when you're thanking, you know when you do things like this when it comes to meal prepping and you're just thanking your past self. That's very much me today. Uh, I've been filming lots of kind of, sorry I'm having to keep kneeling down, we've been filming lots of like transitional content so lots of summer to autumn inspo and um, hence the outfit I'm wearing today. Um, I'm wearing, you might have seen if you watched my come shopping with me, the cream knit top that I bought and I'm just wearing it with my beige trousers from Nasty Girl. And here we have some chicken that I cooked, again, cooked and prepared earlier. Me and Andy have been like ships in the night today, just passing each other, so I can tell he's obviously already been in and had his. And a lovely, delicious chicken Caesar for lunch. Blooming lovely. Lunch done, I'm about to go upstairs and carry on filming for the day, but yeah, this week I am trying desperately to get as much filmed as possible. I've also got to do, I've got a fair few emails to do because this weekend I am seeing two of my best friends. We're going down to, well, we're going down to London. My friend lives um, right near London, but we're going into London and we're going to see Mrs Doubtfire um at the theatre which was my birthday present from them both because as a group we are just obsessed with Mrs Doubtfire it's ridiculous constantly quoting it um so yeah they couldn't really have got me a better present so I'm so excited so really looking forward to that we're going out for dinner after and then we are staying at my friend's house on um the Saturday evening and then on the Sunday we're actually I don't know if this is going to happen or not yeah, I think it depends how many drinks we end up having on the Saturday, whether we've got sore heads. But the plan was to hire a boat on the Thames. We're talking like a really small little like paddle boat, guys. Let's not like a yacht. <laughs> and um, we were going to go down the river and take bits of food on there. And we were just going to have a really cute, wholesome day doing that. Not sure if that's going to happen, but I really hope it does. But what it does mean is that I have got to get all of my work done pronto so that I can just go switch off and enjoy. Along with that, I also have um, obviously training with Flickr because, as I mentioned, we have qualified for the regional championships in a few weeks. So it's all go, go, go. I'm trying to fit in mine and Flickr's schedule alongside a busy work schedule, which I won't complain about and also have a social life. So I do feel slightly, I'm not burnt out yet, but I feel like it's, put it this way, I feel like after the championship is over, I'm gonna need a good three or four days of just being a hermit, not speaking to anyone, on the sofa with my treats, Netflix, and just being a total recluse because yeah, Let's just say my days at the minute are very full on. So I obviously try and vlog as much as possible with the interest that I don't want all of my vlogs to be the same or repetitive or, you know, I'm um, obviously, this isn't an equestrian page, so I won't really show you everything that I'm doing with Flickr, but I'll just update you as and when. But yeah, it's just, it's gonna be a busy, a busy few weeks. We can do it. We'll get through it. We'll get through it together. I've had a lovely parcel delivered to me this morning from the GHD team. So this is actually um, some brand new straighteners from their new pink collection. So their pink collection is actually um, in honour of um, helping to raise money for breast cancer. So from every for every pink um, product purchased from them, ten pounds or ten euros will be donated to um, Breast Cancer Now or Irish Cancer Society. So yeah, really great cause. So I'm going to 
do a little unboxing of these. Whoops, let's try and open it one-handed. Oh, how, how gorgeous are they? How pretty. So this is the brand new um, pair of straighteners from the Pink Collection. Really love those. Thank you, GHD. That's so lovely. Really going to enjoy them. You can't beat a new hair tool, can you? It just feels, feels fresh. And then something else that's arrived, which I knew was coming, but I didn't expect for this to arrive so quickly. So from the lovely Katie Loxton team, um, whose event I was at uh, a couple of days ago, they have actually sent me the two bags that I really loved when I was there, which is so nice. So you will remember, um, you'll remember me um, trying these on when I was there. So this is the shoulder bag. I believe this is called the Fern. Fantastic shape for the winter, but even better on the strap here. They have personalised it with my initials. The nicest little touch, and to think this bag is less than £50. Such lovely quality, great shape, great size. I can fit everything in there. I can fit my phone, my purse, keys, my bits of makeup, my vlogging camera. Great. And then this was the other one, I think. I don't want to get this wrong. I think this was called the Serena. Let me check. I think this is called the Serena, but in this gorgeous taupey, sort of dark taupey brown colour, which I thought would be so lovely for the autumn winter. Again, great shape, great size, can fit everything in this. It's in a gorgeous soft leather, so you could definitely um, use this as almost like a clutch. Perfect size, but I am so happy with those thank you so much to the katie loxton team for sending those out and sending them so quickly i'm so happy i'm going to uh, i'm definitely going to use one of these um for today because i'm heading down into london so definitely going to use one of these for today oh my gosh guys desi is absolutely on one she's been sprinting around here in my dressing room ignore the odd bits of clothes on the floor so ever since desi was a puppy she used to always we always used to joke that she was answering me back so i used to say to her don't make me shout and it really winds her up oh my gosh she's honestly just been sprinting around this dressing room hasn't she she's been pulling on the <laughs> on the tassel of my dressing gown are you back don't make me shout oh, don't make me shout. oh jump on gonna come and get you don't gonna come and get you don't make me shout oh don't gonna come and get you where's she gone where's she gone Where's she gone? Oh, where's she gone? Oh, come here. <laughs> Don't make me shout. Oh, come here. I'm going to get her. Oh, she's chasing me. Don't make me. Oh, oh, come here. Oh, come here. Oh, got ya. Oh, come here. Come here. Bolly doesn't have a clue what's going on. You are a madam today, aren't you? Yes, running around his dressing room like you own the place. Yes. Guys, honestly, it just takes that one sentence to wind her back up again. Don't make me shout. <laughs> Did you hear that sassy growl? Look at the state of me. I was in the middle of getting dressed. I was literally taking this dress off and putting my comfy um, tracksuit on from Sweaty Betty. <laughs> And then this little monster, <laughs> like, like butter wouldn't melt. She went through a phase, why am I sat on the floor wearing a dress? She went through a phase, um, for, oh well, she still does it now. She loves sometimes when I'm getting ready, she'll um, just come and sit next to me and she'll just look at herself and look at me in the mirror. And it's honestly one of the sweetest things. Sorry about blogging on my phone, by the way, but she was act in the fall and I just had to pick my phone up. Hello, can you see me? No, not the window, the mirror there. Look, that's it. Are you looking, hello, are you looking at me? You know, don't you? You're not silly. You know what a mirror is, you're very clever. Bolly, I'm not sure you know what planet you're on, do you darling? <laughs> I'm not sure you even know what planet you're on sometimes. <laughs> Bless you, you are. You're so clever in your own way, Bolly, but <laughs> not quite as socially intelligent as Desi, are you? 
I know, but you are so, so loving. I know, thank you. You're such a loving boy. Give me that paw. Thank you. You can't get any closer to me. Look. <laughs> it's like, please, 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 mum, please. But please just have the ball. Please, mummy, please, please. Oh, go get it. Thank you. Come here, I want it. Give it me. Give me the ball. Thank you. <laughs> oh, I know, you are so clever. Have you both had your mad half an hour now? Can oh, can I finish? I've literally got my dress bunched up around my waist. This was very impromptu filming, but can I get ready now? Have you had your mad half an hour? One more paw. Yeah. <laughs> you are the bestest, aren't you? My absolute day one, aren't you? Yes, my day one little bestie, aren't you? Yes, I know. I know, you are my bestest. What are we going to do? Oh, I can't even think about that. I was just about to say, what are we going to do when you're no longer around? But then I've got age. We've got a long time, Paul. We have to think about horrible things like that. But sometimes I do get sad and I think, oh, I find it really sad that I'm going to live live a lot of my life and at some point you're not going to be next to me, Desi. It makes me really sad. Because we're besties, aren't we? Huh? My little shadow. Don't get me wrong, Bolly's also my shadow, but I think you guys know. Desi's just always there. <laughs> fluffy pups. With your fluffy boots. Hmm? Your boots with the fur. <laughs> Desi, what do you want? Tell me. Tell me. Is that what you want? Talk to me. Tell me. Yeah? Then what do you want to do? Really? Oh, she says I actually just want to itch. That's actually what I want to do. I've actually got a scritch scratch. Oh, come on, let's go and have a cuddle then. Oh, ready and spin. Yeah, and spin. Oh, is that your favourite trick? And catch. Oh, dear. We're going to work on that one. It has been a very long but a productive day. I have essentially just been back to back filming, but it's now, what time is it? Just gone six o'clock. Oh, I've burned a lot of calories today. And I have just packed my bag. Let me grab it. I'm sorry. Oh. Okay, don't apologise. Um, <laughs> this is the bag I was um, meant to show you a couple of days ago. I've mentioned this brand a lot in this video and it's not intentional. It just happens to have cropped up a lot. But this is the Katie Loxton weekend bag. When I say you can fit everything in the kitchen sink in this bag, it's one of my favourites that they do. This is in their, um, in the mink colour. It's the perfect size for, as the name would suggest, a weekend. Um, it's got my initials embroidered on there. So uh, this is my bag for the weekend. I'm about to head down to my friend's house. As I mentioned, we're going into London, um, watching Mrs Doubtfire. We have booked the boat for Sunday. I don't know how that's gonna go, but we've booked it. But I need to drive down to her house. It's about a two hour drive. So that means petrol station, car snacks, the best. I'm gonna listen to a lovely podcast. I might get myself, do I get myself a Starbucks? I know when I walk into her house, there's gonna be a glass of wine put into my hand. Do I really need a Starbucks? No, I'll be good. I won't have a Starbucks. I'll get a nice cold drink from the petrol station instead. But yeah, car snacks, podcast. I just love a car journey. But yeah, bag is all packed. I'm taking, oh, I'm taking my um, laptop. Am I going to take my laptop with me? No, I'm not because I have actually finished. No, oh, I've got a reel to edit. Hmm. I think I may need to take my laptop with me. I'll pop that in a separate bag. But yeah, I'm literally all packed. I'm just going down in this outfit, to be honest. We're just, it's just going to be a chilled one when I get there. So t-shirt, trousers. I'm also using for the weekend my new black shoulder bag from Katie Loxton. This is it. I'm going to take my vlogging camera with me. I don't know how much footage I'm going to get because obviously I'm just with friends. 
but we shall see. But for now, I'm going to pack my stuff. Well, our stuff is packed. I'm going to put my stuff in the car and then we're going to head down. I'm in the car. I've just got some petrol to do the journey down. You already know what car snack I've had. OT, goodness, my hobnob flapjack. It's just the best. Do you know what I've said before? I'm going to try and make these myself. That's going to be an upcoming autumnal cosy vlog. I'm going to try and reignite, reignite, like, <laughs> like I ever had this burning passion before. I'm, I'm going to try and redeem myself when it comes to the baking department. I feel like cooking, yeah, that's all under control, but baking, not so good. Who remembers my last attempt at baking when I dropped my banana bread on the floor, pulling it out of the oven? Oh dear. But no, I'm determined I'm going to crack. I'm going to crack this baking malarkey. So I'm going to attempt to try and make my own hobnob chocolate flapjack. Maybe in a big like tray bake. It's happening. I'm going to try. <laughs> she says. Oh my gosh. I needed that drink. Let's pop pop a podcast on you know the drill i managed to successfully drive past starbucks i didn't go in i have not been I'd, I'd really gone off starbucks for a while and i'll i'll rarely have one now i have one as a treat because i'll have their um frappuccino and it's very it's very sugary very calorific for a drink it's not like your regular coffee order that you'd have every morning do you know what i mean so it's just a rare treat now but i did go past there i'm saving myself for the shenanigans for this weekend i'm gonna put a podcast on my therapist ghosted me as soon as i get to heaven because that's where i'm going i'm gonna say if i died my own home like i'm so mortified right essential car snacks purchased let's head off good morning it is the next day so i arrived down at my friend's house last night we um I, I literally didn't get the camera out because literally from when i walked in there was loads of like cute little like picky bits of food and yeah we just sat outside we had a drink had a catch up had some food and because i didn't get down until sort of like half eight quarter to nine um yeah it was just very chilled as i said had a nice catch up with the girls and then we went to bed ready for today so we have just finished getting ready i thought i'd quickly nip into the bathroom oh my blazer's all folded the wrong way to show you um a little glimpse of the outfit i'm basically wearing my anina bing beige blazer one of my h&m vest tops with the little black um edging round i've then got my white midi skirt on from stradivarius with my Holland Cooper belt and then I think I'm just going to put my Adidas Samba trainers on because obviously walking around London I want to be comfortable. A slight logistical nightmare with our original plan so originally we were going to have dinner in London after we've been to the theatre but because of all the train strikes there's actually no trains going out of London to where we need to go past 6pm so we've had a little bit of a rejig we've booked a different restaurant closer to my friend's house so that we're getting out of London before the carnage starts and yeah so slight change of plan but it's still going to be a really nice day regardless <laughs> well <laughs> much. If, if it looks like I have been heavily crying and you're wondering why the girls both have sunglasses on <laughs> When it's not that sunny, it's because Mrs. Doubtfire was, let's just say, um, <laughs> slightly more emotional, <laughs> emotional <laughs> tr triggering. <laughs> we all, honestly, we were all laughing all the way throughout, but also extremely emotional. We've all been crying. I feel really left out not having my sunglasses on. I'm gonna put my sunglasses on. There we go, I don't quite feel as, um, I don't feel like the odd one out anymore. But anyway, did we all enjoy it, girls? It was the best, it was hilarious. Absolutely 10 out of 10. If you're thinking about going to see it, go and watch it. We were literally in hysterics the whole way through. And when we weren't laughing, we were crying. So I'd say that was a sign of a, a sign of a very good day. <laughs> and now it's time to uh oh <laughs> Go get some food! <laughs>
Guys, I'm having a really lovely time driving my boat down the river. Is this the river? Thames. Thames. Yeah. Down the river Thames. We did just, Rachel, who's holding the camera now, was, <laughs> was driving first. I had to swiftly take over <laughs> because we ended up going into a bush, into a hedge. Look at the evidence there is on the, the bush. bush. We're going to have to dispose that evidence before we take this boat back. <laughs> Looks like we're doing arts and crafts. <laughs> Now, are you feeling more relaxed? Um, yeah, I've had to open this after yeah. Rachel's driving. <laughs> me, and, me and Natalie were having minor heart attacks. <laughs> I literally thought my life was going to end on this boat at one point. Oh, look at the view down the front. We've got other boat friends. We've come across a problem. Yeah, there, was a, there was a house opposite where we crashed. Oh, was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. There's a there's a barge coming. There's a barge coming. I oh, don't want it. Uh oh. Problem. Yeah. I'm just floating we're just, through this. We're just floaters. What are you not? I'm a floater. <laughs> Obviously, this will be edited out. <laughs> this is just for Alex to have a lol next week when she's doing her editing. <laughs> now you understand why my friends are pictures. Yeah. <laughs> so, all week, me and Andy have been saying we want to have a cosy night in with some Netflix and some picky bits, cheese board. So, I thought I'd show you exactly what we are having tonight. How good does this look? Um, we got this new cheese board from Amazon. It's got all the little, oh, if I can open it. So inside here, you've got all of your little cutting bits and pieces for the cheese, knives. Why did I forget the word knife? Just then, <laughs> cutting bits and pieces. Your knives. So we've got some padron peppers, delish. We've got some different cheeses. We've got some brie, some cheddar, some Wensleydale. Obviously some cold meats and some grapes. A couple of different chutneys. And then over here, we have got some carrot and cucumber, some hummus, some pickled onions and olives with some feta. But yeah, this looks delicious. So this is a setup. We've come and sat over here in the family area. And now I'm just about to start a new Netflix um, series. This is Who is Erin Carter? It's number one it's, um, in the UK. So hopefully it's going to be good. But yeah, what a perfect setup.